Hello and welcome back to the Book Fox Summaries, bringing literature to life one summary at a time. Providing spoiler-free insights, hidden themes, all the good stuff in bite-sized pieces. Can't tackle that TBR pile? Don't have time to read? We've got you covered. So grab a kappa, get comfy, and join us on this incredible journey through the world of literature. Today, we're going to dissect and discuss a timeless masterpiece, Harper Lee's To Kill a Mockingbird. A tale that transcends time and place, it explores the depths of human behavior and the complexities of morality. So stay tuned as we venture into the sleepy town of Maycomb, Alabama. Let's begin. Have you ever wondered what shapes us into the people we become? Is it innocence or experience? Kindness or cruelty? These are questions explored in Harper Lee's timeless masterpiece, To Kill a Mockingbird. This book, a poignant exploration of human behavior, takes us back to a time and place that might seem worlds away, but its themes remain as relevant as ever. Let's journey to the sleepy southern town of Maycomb, Alabama. It's the era of the Great Depression, and our story unfolds through the eyes of a young girl named Jean Louise Finch, better known as Scout. An intelligent, unconventional child, Scout is raised alongside her brother Jeremy Atticus Finch, or Jem as he's affectionately called, by their widowed father, Atticus Finch. Atticus, a respected lawyer, instills in them a sense of justice and empathy, teaching them that it's a sin to kill a mockingbird, a metaphor for causing harm to those who are innocent and harmless. At the heart of this tale is an incident that shakes the town and challenges its deeply ingrained prejudices. A black resident, Tom Robinson, stands falsely accused of a crime, and Atticus must defend him, risking the ire of the community, but that's a story for another scene. For now, let's focus on the children's world, where a different kind of drama unfolds. Their curiosity is piqued by their reclusive neighbor, Arthur Boo Radley, a man shrouded in mystery and local folklore. As they speculate about Boo and dare to trespass on his property, they mirror the prejudice and superstition of their elders. Yet, Atticus guides them toward a more compassionate understanding of others, even those deemed different or strange. In this world of prejudice and superstition, the Finch children are about to learn some profound lessons about humanity. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the heart of Maycomb, where innocence meets experience, kindness confronts cruelty, and the roots of human behavior are laid bare. Who are the real heroes in our society? Are they always in the limelight, or can they be unseen and unacknowledged? Let's dive into the enigmatic character of Arthur Boo Radley. Boo is a recluse, a local legend shrouded in mystery, living a life of solitude within the confines of the Radley property. He's the subject of town gossip and childhood fantasies, a figure of intrigue, yet he's dehumanized and misunderstood. His interaction with the world outside is subtle, yet deeply impactful. He communicates through a series of indirect acts of kindness, leaving gifts in the knothole of a tree for Scout and Jem, mending Jem's torn pants, placing a blanket over Scout during a neighborhood fire. These are quiet gestures, unseen moments of heroism that paint a picture of Boo's inherent goodness. The climax of Boo's heroism unfolds when he steps out from the shadows to save Scout and Jem from Bob Ewell's malevolent attack. This act of courage, this leap from the sidelines to the center stage of action, is a testament to Boo's character. He's the silent protector, the guardian angel who watches over the children from afar, only to step in when they are in dire need. Even in the aftermath of his heroic act, Boo remains unseen. Sheriff Heck Tate, understanding the repercussions of thrusting Boo into the public eye, decides to spare him from unwanted attention. He constructs a narrative where Bob Ewell's death occurs when he falls on his own knife. It's a decision that shields Boo from the limelight, allowing him to retreat back into his quiet existence. Scout, in her wisdom, agrees with this decision, noting that to expose Boo would be sort of like shooting a mockingbird. It's a poignant remark that reflects back on Atticus's earlier lesson about the sin of killing a mockingbird. Boo, like the mockingbird, is harmless and innocent, and to thrust him into the public eye would be a violation of his nature. In the shadows of society, Boo Radley proves that heroes don't always wear capes, sometimes they are the quiet, unseen saviors. What are the lessons that To Kill a Mockingbird imparts to its readers? This masterpiece by Harper Lee is not just a story, it's a profound exploration of human nature and society. It takes us on a journey through the spectrums of innocence and experience, kindness and cruelty, love and hatred, humor and pathos. Innocence, as embodied by Scout Finch, 
is one of the most pervasive themes in the novel. It serves as a beacon of hope, a reminder of the purity and inherent goodness that resides within us before the world taints our perceptions. The experiences that Scout and Jem go through, from their initial fascination with Boo Radley, to their father's monumental defense of Tom Robinson, strip away this innocence layer by layer, exposing them to the harsh realities of their society. The dichotomy of kindness and cruelty is another powerful theme that resonates throughout the narrative. Atticus Finch, the epitome of kindness, stands as a stark contrast to the bigotry and prejudice rampant in Maycomb. His unwavering commitment to justice, his empathy for the downtrodden, and his ability to see the good in people are qualities that make him a beacon of hope in a world marred by hatred. Love and hatred are two sides of the same coin, a theme that Harper Lee masterfully weaves into the narrative. The love between the Finch family members, the love that Boo Radley shows Scout and Jem, contrasts sharply with the hatred that fuels the false accusations against Tom Robinson and the subsequent injustice he faces. Humor and pathos, two seemingly disparate themes, are seamlessly blended into the narrative. Harper Lee uses humor to lighten the heavy themes and pathos to underscore the deep-seated societal issues, creating a balance that makes the novel both entertaining and thought-provoking. To Kill a Mockingbird has left an indelible impact on its readers, earning it a revered status in American literature. Its profound themes and the lessons it imparts have won it the Pulitzer Prize and recognition as a classic that transcends time and cultural boundaries. Harper Lee's To Kill a Mockingbird is not just a book, it's a mirror to society, a beacon of hope, and a timeless reminder of the roots of human behavior. Before we wrap up this deep dive into To Kill a Mockingbird, we want to take a moment to connect with you, our viewers, to ask for your help. Please subscribe to our channel with your subscription, you are helping us to have the power to create more summaries like this. Comments and recommendations welcome, hit the like button, share with friends and turn on notifications to stay in the loop. Did you enjoy our analysis of To Kill a Mockingbird? Is there another book you'd like us to explore? Let us know.